Hey everybody, uh, this is Mr. Mathblog and we're going to do some problem solving and we're going to do some subtraction with three digit numbers. So it's, it's the same stuff we did in the in the last chapter when we subtracted two digit numbers, but we're just going to be borrowing and stuff. So hey, don't forget all of your groovy lessons can be found at MrMathBlog.com. Okay, all the way through high school. Okay, let's go ahead and begin. So here's our common core strand for our most awesome teachers and our our question here is how, how can we make a model when solving subtraction problems so we're going to draw quick pictures on all of these here so here's an example there's uh, 436 people at the cookie party i love cookies 219 people left uh, the party early to go to a math club well that's okay and then so how many stayed at the party okay so this is going to be a subtraction problem so what do we need to find out well what we need to find out is always this uh, usually not always but almost always this last sentence so how many people stayed at the party right there so and then what information do we need to use well we need to use the fact that uh, uh, blank people were at the cookie party so 436 people were at the cookie party and uh, then how many people left well right here it says 219 people left the party right there so that's what we're gonna put right there so we're gonna show how to solve the problem and then draw a quick picture okay so let's go ahead and do this so we're gonna solve the problem by subtracting because there were 436 people there and then 219 left okay so let's draw a quick picture okay so here's here we're gonna do 436 so we're gonna draw four rectangles or four squares okay sort of squares in, in my book so I actually did this on my board at school and uh, I just keep copying and pasting those so they're the same uh, square that I drew on my board at school so here's 100 200 300 400 okay and then so that's that represents um, uh, this four right here for the 400 and so let's do three sticks so for the tens so well here we go so here's three sticks right there for 430 and then we'll do six ones so we'll do six ones I'll stack them in five and then one more over here so here we go so there's five ones and then one more is six ones okay so here's 200 one stick for nine for, for I'm sorry not for nine for the tens and then uh, nine right there okay and, and typically we stack them in fives because they're easier to count if we have them in fives right there so here's five plus four five plus four is nine so that represents this nine right there okay so so what we're going to do first now is because we can't do let me go back real quick we can't do um, uh, six minus nine there's not enough ones to subtract a nine from here so what we're going to do is borrow from this tens right here and remember tens makes um, uh, ten one so we'll we'll change this three right here to a two and then just add ten to that and it's going to be sixteen okay so here we're going to we're going to regroup the tens and take off a ten right there make it a two and then we're going to change this 6 now to a 16 and so over here in our model this um, this 10 sticks uh, we're going to cross that off and this is going to become these 10 ones right here okay so so 110 equals 10 ones over here okay all right and now we can go ahead and subtract 16 minus 7 6 I'm sorry 16 minus 9 is 7 okay so here we have uh, 16 minus 9 equals 7 right here over here uh, we're taking off these red uh, circles right here of 9 and we're going to take off 9 here so these 5 take off these 5 right here and then uh, these 4's took off uh, these 4 right here and so I'm left with here's 5 6 7 right there okay so okay so now we're going to subtract um, uh, the 10's okay so we're, we're left with uh, uh, 2 minus 1 2 minus 1 is 1 over here uh, here we go we're going we have these uh, two sticks uh, right here minus one stick so these red guys cancel each other out and we're left with this this blue one right here which represents that guy right there okay okay now we're going to subtract the hundreds right here so when we subtract the hundreds we have 400 minus 200 so I I crossed off these 200s with these 200s and we're left with these two right here so 217 is our answer okay so how many stayed at the party that's our that's what we're asking right here 
how many stayed at the party so up here 217 stayed at the party right there okay all right so let's try another one here you guys so let's draw a quick picture to solve the problem so and I'm only going to do one because they're all the same, you guys. So, uh, uh, and I'm running out of time today. So, there are 532 pieces of art uh, at the art show, um, and 319 pieces of art are paintings. So, how many pieces are not paintings? Okay, so, so here we have this many that are in the art show, this many that are paintings. How many are not paintings? So, we're going to take 319 and subtract it from. 532 okay so we're doing this subtraction problem okay so again you guys we're going to uh, start with the ones so two minus nine we can't do it so what we're going to have to do is take off um, uh, the ones right here we're going to take off uh, 110 and add 10 ones right there and it's going to make it 12 right there okay so draw a quick picture here's our here's our 532 five hundreds three tens, two ones, and then here's our 300, one ten, and nine ones right there, okay? Okay, like I was saying right here, we can't do two minus nine, so we got to borrow from the three tens and make it two tens, and make, and when we take uh, one of the tens off, it's going to add ten ones into the, the, the two right there, so it's going to become twelve right there, okay? All right, now we can subtract. We can go ahead and subtract 12 ones minus 9 ones. So I'm going to take off 12 of the ones over here and subtract off um, uh, 9 of the ones. Okay, so I took off this 5 with this 5 right here, and I took off this other 4 with this 4 right here, and I'm left with uh, these 2 and plus 1 is 3. So that's what goes over here, uh, that 3 right there. Okay, and then now we're going to subtract the 10, so there's no uh, borrowing, so we just do 2 minus 1. 2 minus 1 is 1. Over here, this uh, 10 stick takes off this 10 stick, so we're left with this, this guy right here. So we have 1 left. Okay, and then we're going to go ahead and subtract the 100s, and when we subtract the 100s, 5 minus 3 is 2, and then over here we subtracted off uh, these 3 with these 3, and so we're left with these 2 on top right there, okay? All right, you guys, I hope you're having fun, and, and I tell my students if you... If you just do what the teacher says, the least you can do is uh, uh, get a good passing grade in your class. So just um, uh, be happy with your teacher and have fun learning. Take care, everybody.